How about serving bruschetta at your next party? We've got Italian chef Deborah Da Fovo to show us a great recipe for bruschetta smothered in mushrooms. Thanks, Bruce. Today I'm preparing bruschetta con funghi trifolati, bruschetta with garlic sautéed mushrooms. Bruschetta comes from the Roman term bruscato, and this dish was born out of necessity in the 1500s. Olive oil growers in central Italy would toast their bread, their thick slices of, of rustic bread in the corner of the olive oil press room and be able to test each batch by drizzling it over the, the hot toasted bread. And I can't think of a more delicious thing than that. We're topping our bruschetta with truffle style mushrooms. And that's a cooking technique used a lot in Italy for different types of vegetables. It, they're uh, vegetables sauteed in olive oil, garlic, and parsley. And today we're using wonderful mushrooms. So let's get started. We're going to start with our bread. Um, we're using a, a ciabatta bread, which is a rustic um, Italian loaf. And it's a coarse grain bread. And this is day old bread, and that's usually what was used one or two day old bread. Um, we've got wonderful cremini mushrooms, and these are baby portobellos. They've got a lot of flavor. Garlic, fresh garlic, and olive oil, and a little bit of parsley. And that's it. It's very simple. Very basic, but very savory, and a lot of, lot of flavors going on. Um, we're going to start by slicing our bread in half-inch slices, nice thick slices, and this is good to catch all the olive oil. I'm going to start toasting our bread, and since I don't have a fireplace in my kitchen, unfortunately, I'm using a stovetop grill pan, and that works just fine. Or you can do it in a, in a 350 degree oven for about 10 minutes. We want the outside of the bread to be really nice and crusty, and a little bit soft on the inside, but nice and crusty and crisp on the outside. While the bread is toasting, we're going to get started making our truffled mushrooms. And I'm starting with garlic. We're going to slice the garlic into very thin slices, paper thin. I like mine so that they melt in the hot oil. And then I'm going to take another clove of garlic and I'm going to cut it in just in half lengthwise down the center. We use this to rub on the hot bread and that is what bruschetta is. Um, it's hot bread rubbed with garlic. And I usually do it with my hands, but I'm going to show you a technique for people who don't like to touch garlic, you just insert it into a fork and then you can easily rub it on your bread. So now we'll prepare our mushrooms and before we chop them we have to clean them because mushrooms do have some sand and dirt on them since they grow out of the, uh, out of the dirt. Um, we do this with a, either a mushroom brush which is a very soft brush or we do it with a very slightly damp um, towel. Um, you don't want to run mushrooms under running water because they're like sponges and they'll just get soggy. So um, I'm just lightly brushing any, any dust or dirt off of these. You don't have to rub them a lot. Just, just get any surface dirt off of them and that's fine. So I'm going to chop my mushrooms and I usually take off the stem because it's a little bit woody. And then I cut my mushroom in half and then just slice it into very nice, thin slices. Now we're going to cook our truffle style mushrooms and we start with some fruity extra virgin olive oil, about a third of a cup. I'm heating the olive oil over medium heat um, I don't want it to get too hot, but I do want it warm. I'm adding my sliced garlic and it'll start sizzling in the hot oil and release a lot of its sweetness. So now I add my mushrooms to the pan and toss the mushrooms in the hot oil and let the oil coat every single mushroom. Then I spread them out and make sure they're in a single layer so they're not overcrowded. Um, the mushrooms will start to caramelize and after about five minutes I can add uh, salt and pepper to them. I don't do that in advance because the salt will draw excess moisture. And um, once the mushrooms have caramelized, they start releasing their natural liquid. So you'll see um, liquid start forming in the pan. At that point, you can add a little bit of dry white wine.
So now the wine is boiling and the alcohol is evaporating and that's what we want. The liquid will reduce down and just kind of leave some of the olive oil and a little bit of the mushroom juices. At the last minute we're going to season it with our chopped parsley and this keeps it fresh. You don't want to add the parsley too soon and you will let it cook for another minute or so. And that's it. That's our funghi trifolati, our truffle style mushrooms. So now that our mushrooms are done, we're going to assemble our bruschetta. Our bread is beautifully toasted. It's got the grill marks. And it's important to do this while the bread is still hot. I am taking my half of garlic clove that I impaled on the fork, and I'm just going to rub it over the, the hot bread. This will cause the um, garlic to melt into the bread, and that's what gives it its wonderful flavor. So I just rub it lightly. And then I'm going to drizzle it with a little bit of olive oil. I'm going to spoon some of our wonderful truffled mushrooms on top. So that's it. This is our wonderful bruschetta ai funghi trifolati. It's the bruschetta for Bruce with truffle style mushrooms. Buon appetito. Wow, Deborah, that looked great. Thank you. And coming up next, a super easy...